Hello all, welcome to bleeding, I mean skinning, I mean shaving with peg leg. Um, I say all that because Mike Dietzen sent me some shavettes and this month I'm going to use them in my shaves. So I'm going to get a lot of practice in with a straight edge this month. First up is a weck. see that it says sexto blade on it and then this says EWEC New York USA Wizmat blade All right you load this just by sticking the blade in that little gap Grip it like this, blade away from you, push down as far as you can, and now what I'm going to do is I've got a marble countertop that dips down into my sink, and I just caught the corner of that with my finger, so I'm going to bleed. Um, I put the blade over the sink, grab the razor like so, put this end on the marble and push down and you'll feel it move a little bit as it goes into place completely see that was from that corner now to take a blade out of these he was suggesting pliers I found a better way I opened a drawer on my I got three drawers right here drawers are square on the inside I lay this this is the edge of the drawer this is the side of the drawer I lay this on the drawer like this and pull this way it puts nice even flat pressure right here and it pushes the blade out when you pull it straight out instead of using pliers and I mean if it's an old blade and you're changing it I guess it doesn't matter but that's gonna be a bloody flipping mess and I really didn't need that right now so I'm gonna take my alum Ooh, I put it on there. Hopefully stop that from bleeding. Dumbass mistake. So, Luther Lothar Samber. Now this scent is Amber Accord, Incense, Sandalwood Accord, Patchouli, and Spice Notes. And it is a tallow based soap. That's the pour. You can see where I've been scraping off the top. I've been the second time I've used this. Absolutely fantastic scent. Gorgeous. And yes, I have the splash. Got the soap applied in my Q shaped scuttle. Like $21 on Amazon when I bought it. I don't know what they are now. And I'm using my Harry Ali brush again, the one I had to change the knot on to a, this is just a plain badger knot. Honestly, there's badger, pure badger, silver badger, um, all these badger knots. I've got like three different badger knots. I can't tell the difference between one from the other. They're all flipping badger to me. That's all I know. This is still a little wet and warm. some of the water out, we'll get some warm water on the face, let it do some work. Now we're going to lather the soap. Um, I'm not going to do much talking while I shave because I am not good with a straight edge or a shavette, if you want to call it that, be specific. So I'm just going to be concentrating on the shave today. I've been reading some interesting articles the last couple days. There's a 
Princeton prof professor, supposed professor, look like uh, looks like a 60s hippie with his hair. I don't know what they call him now. They're not yuppies. Yuppies, uh, yuppies are more clean cut to me than this guy looks. He just kind of looks like a bum. Um, he's claiming that you can't determine a person's sex by biology, by science, because human sexuality is binary. You have an XX or an XY chromosome. You are male or female. How is that not science? In your mind, you can be whatever you want. But physically, scientifically, you are XY or X, XX. There's no disputing that. How do these guys get tenure, professor jobs? How? How? Sorry. That's just... The stupidity is running amok. It really is. This is what happens when you close down the insane asylums. And another question I have for you, or a question I have for you. How come for over 5,000 years now, it's been over 5,000 years, hasn't it? That people have been eating bread. That all of a sudden people can't have gluten. Why? Explain it to me, please. If you want to take time and type a book out in the comments, I'll read it. But explain it to me. How does this happen? Or are all these people just going with the trend? Like all this other crap. Like I keep saying, when I was growing up, I did not expect to live in the world of the insane. This is like an alternate universe to me. It's like, how the hell did I get here? How did we get here? Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. Hard times create strong men. I'm going to use a straight edged razor. I need a little more thinness to the soap than my normal floppy peaks. I want them to be droopy peaks. That's pretty good. It's probably still a little thick, but we'll go with it. See? I told you to be a bloody shave. This thing's bleeding all over the place. Alright. I know what we need to do. We can fix this society. We can fix it easy. Bring back the standards that they had for boot camp that we had in the 50s and 60s instead of this pussyfooting around crap that they've got today where they can't touch the recruits, they can't insult the recruits, they can't make them feel bad or hurt their widow feelings and make them pee their pants. Bring that shit back and reinstall the draft. Let's make men again. Sorry, I'm on a rant. Because what happened to me was over a week ago now at the gas station. As I was going in, I noticed a guy, guy, he was dressed like a girl. Had a bigger Adam's apple than I do. Hadn't shaved in two days. But he was dressed like a woman. And he had a clipboard in his hand. I was like, this is going to be fun when I come out because he was catching people when they came out of the store. 
So I go in the convenience store, the gas station, and I come out, and he stops me, and he says, Sir, would you like to sign a petition for transgender rights? Oh, wrong dude to ask, dude. Wrong, couldn't you read the room? Wrong dude. Wrong dude. Lay the spine against your skin with any straight blade. Rotate it down till you feel it flat on your skin. And start doing short, gentle strokes till you feel that blade start to cut. And that's your cutting angle. One thing you can do with these that you can't do with a straight is rinse them off because you can take this whole thing apart and dry it out. That's a bump right there. Just removed it. Told you. Bleeding with peg leg. Welcome to the show, guys. All right. Another one. I think these were little spots that had scabs from the last time I shaved. Wow, I took that one off completely, didn't I? Wow, that's going to be a bloody flipping mess, huh? And one thing you never want to do with one of these guys is to go, to have it on your skin and, and go this way while you're cutting. You don't want to cut like that. You want to always go straight up and down. Oh, bloody brush now. Wow. Rinse that off. So anyways, I stopped and I looked back at him. And I said, don't you mean special rights? He said, no, 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 equal rights for transgenders. I said, are transgenders human beings? Are they people? Yes, they are. I said, then they got the same rights everybody else does. So what you're petitioning for is special rights. No, we're petitioning so they don't get discriminated against.
So I asked them, I said, who's discriminating against transgenders? Well, everybody is. They want to stop transgenders from reading books to children in libraries. I said, okay. I said, why do transgenders feel the need to read to children in libraries in the first place? He just looked at me. He's like, yeah, I know. You don't have an answer for that. That's a big blade to do that little area in there. One more pass against the green. Yeah, you're a bleeder, all right. All right. So, so you don't want to sign the petition? I said, no, I'm not signing a petition for extra rights for anybody. I don't care what gender they are. Do what you want. You're not affecting my life. I don't care. But I'm not for special rights for anybody. I said, I don't care what sex you think you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care about anything, except if you're work, going for a job, the only thing I care about is if you're qualified for that job and can do the job. That's all I worry about. I don't care what you think you are, what color you are, any of that. It doesn't, bother, doesn't matter to me. Because when I was doing operations for a security company, I hired blacks, I hired whites, I hired Mexicans, I hired Asians, black, yellow, brown, green. I didn't give a shit. Guys that wanted to go home and dress like a woman, I don't care. It does not affect you. Could you do the job? Yes. Okay, good. You got hired. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just not used to doing this. Ooh, got myself right there. The points on these you have to watch. So anyways, we had a few words, and me being the smart ass, sarcastic, smart-ass redneck that I am, he didn't like my words. I wasn't being mean, didn't say anything hateful, he just told me I was a hater. I was like, I don't have any hate in my heart for anybody. Sorry, I, I, well I do, but you know, not in that sense, not for that, for that. So the only reason you're calling me a hater Hang on Hang on Alan to the rescue It's because You don't have the ability to counter my arguments. Because my arguments are valid and yours aren't.
But meanwhile, everybody that was going in the store that he wanted to stop on their way out was hearing all this. And some were laughing at him. Or me. I don't know which. Could have been laughing at me. Fine. I don't care. But either way, he wasn't catching those people when they came out. Because he was still wanting to argue with me. I was like, dude, I'm the wrong one. I don't buy into your bullshit. arguing for special rights, not equal rights. Guys, two passes, I'm freaking BBS. Great razor. The whack is as good as everybody says it is. It's bloodier too, but that's just me because I'm not used to using that type of razor. I don't think I did this one here. That was a bump or a scab from a previous shave where I nicked myself or something. That is a great scent. Johnny did himself proud on, on Samber. That is a great scent. Bloody mess. Sorry, right, I'll bleach it out. It's not a problem. Two passes, BBS. Broken Allen block. But anyways. His parting words to me were, F off, you effing hater. And he yelled it. And people heard him. And people coming out of the store, he was trying to ask after I was walking away, if they would take a survey. Nope, nope, nope. Especially after he just said that to me. He just killed any kind of credibility he might have had. Just destroyed it. El Cheapo Witch Hazel from Walgreens. This is going to feel good too. And the Samber, guess what it has? Alcohol. Just watch, when I put this on my face, I'm gonna lift off like a Saturn V rocket. Or like that one SpaceX just tried to put it in space. Actually, not that bad. Between the alum and the, and the witch hazel, kind of calm down a little bit. Dove, Men Plus Care Ultra Hydra Cream. And that stuff is a cream. It is loose, gentlemen. That much is all I need. Stuff goes a long way. Plus, like I keep saying, I don't like using a lot of balm. I don't like having that heavy, greasy feeling on my skin. I can't say no blood this time because it sure as heck was. But I, I warned you, that was a bad one. Got a couple more. 
Well, there's nothing new about that. They'll be ready for Saturday shave where I can reopen them again and we can have more blood, yay. See, I consider cutting myself when I'm shaving like getting an oil change. Out with the bad blood so new blood can be made. See, gotta change the oil every once in a while, gentlemen. Same with my head. I did not see all these the last time I shaved my head with leaf. I did all these. I'm just a mess. I am just a mess. All right, I suppose that's why you guys watch. It's kind of like watching a train wreck or a car accident. You don't want to see it, but you can't stop looking. All right, guys, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you very much. Don't forget, if you're going to buy from the Razor Company, please use the affiliate link. Yes, I get a kickback, but like I keep saying, when I get $25 on that account, I get a gift card to the Razor Company, give it back to you guys. You use it, you get it. Not me. I don't put it in my pocket. It goes back to you. Don't forget the poor channels I'll put in the description box. The links to their channels, please give them a like and a sub. I'm sure they'd appreciate their numbers going up. And with that, I will say, thanks for listening to my rant. <laughs> it's just me, guys. Sorry. If you don't like it, you can always click off the video, unsubscribe, whatever you got to do. All right? But that's me. And I appreciate you being here. Love you all. Thanks to all the new subscribers and my regulars. Appreciate you all being here really do and enough of the babbling pack guy in the camera you're in the chair next happy shaves out there guys